Just an unbelievable first five duels for the Wolverines. Rayvon Foley getting some early points for Michigan State. Since then, it's just been all Michigan. And now on the mat right now, you see Logan Massa from Michigan versus Austin Hiles of the Spartans. So I'm guessing the referees came together and said, what can we do better in this second half? And that's call hands to the face because Logan Massa just got hit with a hands to the face call 10 seconds into the match. They didn't call it through five matches, but they're making it a point of emphasis to really start calling that hands to the face. So Hiles takes the 1-0 lead. And it makes sense too. We saw one of the Michigan State wrestlers, I believe, Tucker get hit in the face early and there was no call made, so maybe they got together and realized, hey, we should fix this. So it's one nothing early. Hiles leading for Michigan State over Logan Massa. Number seven in the country, of course, is Logan Massa for 165 pounders. He'll get a takedown right there. Redshirt junior from St. John's, Michigan. It's essentially almost the backyard of East Lansing. Coached by Chris Williams growing up in the Spartan Lightning Wrestling Club. His brother Taylor Massa also wrestled at the University of Michigan, but he comes in to Ann Arbor, steps right in, and this kid can compete at a high level, has been battling through some knee injuries, went down to Florida, trained this summer, really got back on pace, and he picked up where he left off. He's wrestling at a high level. So it's two to two now with a, another penalty point. I believe both of Hyo's points came from penalties. No, escape. Oh, it was an escape, okay. And there's two more for Logan Massa. So Logan Massa, nine and three, five and one in duels, 22 points on this season. Wasn't all American in his second year wearing the maize and blue. Also that year was third at the NCAA championships. And look, he hooks that bottom leg, and now he knows he's not gonna get a takedown, but he was looking for the, the neutral, the danger. So he stuck Austin Hiles on his back. There's two more for Massa, another takedown. They go out of bounds with 46 seconds to go in this first period. This is going to get chippy. Look at Austin Hiles. He is not happy. And when Logan Massa is cutting Austin Hiles, he's pushing his face down in the mat, and Austin Hiles is not happy. And it's not fun, especially when you're unable to pick up offense and you're getting your face mushed in the ground. So pay attention to this right hand of Massa. That's two more for Massa. And now one more given to Hiles for the escape, eight to five. Hiles, redshirt sophomore from Brexville, Ohio. And now that's two more for Massa, another takedown. 10 to five. That'll be the end of the first period. So it's 10 to five, a lot of offense there from both sides, particularly Logan Massa, number seven for a reason. All over Austin Hiles also has 45 seconds of riding time built up. Hiles looks gassed. He does, it's difficult. It's, when you're wrestling someone who is smothering and everything he does, Austin Hiles trying to get to a takedown and it's just Logan Massa stuffing the head, spinning behind, and then pushing the face down, coming out in front, and doing it all over again. There's another whistle. And now they start out in the neutral position. So that's just a referee's warning right there. Things getting a little chippy, and he comes back to the center, and let's keep it together, guys. It's another takedown for Massa. And the bottom lip for Austin Hiles is cut. Looks like the right side, there's a small cut. Now going for the bow and arrow. The pressure on the lower back. 
and look at him. That's perfect technique right there. Holds it just like a football. So if you're on the toe, that's illegal, but he comes all the way around and tries to find the heel, puts it in the crook of the elbow, and now Austin Hiles is trying to turn down, but Logan Mass is in good position to pick up near fall right here, only a one count. Just a painful move inflicted by Massa. 15 to seven, Massa leading Hiles. That's two more. 17 to seven, that's 10 points now. 36 seconds to go here in the second period. They both go out. And maybe another point, and it is for Austin Hiles. So that's a nine point deficit now. And if they get to 15, that's a technical fall. Let's not forget. And he was slow, Austin Hiles, I should say, slow to get back to the center. And that was all from that bone arrow. Yeah, it looks like Hiles is playing through a little bit of pain right now. He does know how to knock off a top opponent. Beat number 17, CJ Brookie of Central Michigan last year. But two more points awarded for Massa, and he's just having a fantastic duel. That'll be the end of the second period. So it's 19 to eight, Massa over Hiles. That's 11 point lead. And Hiles might be a little shaken up. So two minutes to go, one more period. Massa looking for a technical fall. Hiles trying to stay alive, two minutes to go. Riding time up to 145. Back on his feet, that's an escape point. And that's not what you want to see right there. Austin Hiles never cleared the tie. It was Logan Massa that was controlling the tie with the left side collar tie, and Austin Hiles just tried to shoot through the, the tie. You have to clear the tie in order to get to your offense. Such an aggressive wrestler, Logan Massa is. 119 to go here in this third period, 10 point lead. He's an emotional wrestler too. He believes that he's one of the best guys in the country. And he's looking to prove that, especially after his showing last year at the NCAA championships, his Biggest problem has been Evan Wick for Wisconsin. Evan Wick, long, lanky in the top position. And when you saw Logan Massa have Evan Wick, you knew it was going to be trouble for him to become an All-American if he had to get through Evan Wick. And Evan Wick ended up going on to take third place. And sent out coach Barry Davis on a high note. But Chris Bono comes in, takes over the program and has the Badgers sitting right around 10th, depending on where you look at it. 30 seconds in this period. 10 point lead for Massa. House trying to find some last second offense here. 20 seconds now, pushing toward the out of bounds marker. Now we're gonna reset once more. 17 seconds to go in this period, 19 to nine. Immediately diving after him is Massa. Four seconds, and that will do it. So 20 to nine is your score. Logan Massa all over Austin Hiles. That is a major decision victory for the Wolverines. And Massa put on a clinic from the snap down spin behind.